Well, hello everyone. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas, and hopefully we'll have a Happy New Year as well. But anyway, though, in front of you is a package from Amazon, obviously. If you watched my vlog I just put up, um, you will know that I actually bought a hybrid hard drive for my PlayStation 4. And I actually got this in the mail um, on Christmas Eve, actually. But now it is post Christmas and now I can now I can now take this out of the box and we're going to install it and we're going to see if this actually makes a difference in performance on your PlayStation 4. It will at least give me more storage capacity. So first thing we should do is open this up. Okay now it's open. Okay that proved to be a little more involving than I thought. But anyway let's open it up in here and there's actually another box okay and this has tape on it all right, all right there we go we got it all right so here's my new hard drive it's just the drive itself it didn't come in its own box or anything and oddly enough, this is a Seagate hard drive, and yet, it looks like it came in a Western Digital box. <laughs> That's interesting. It's kind of funny. Anyway, so this is the new hard drive that's going to be in my PS4. It's one terabyte, and this is a hybrid drive. That should say that here somewhere. I don't know. I don't see anything about hybrid on here. But anyway, uh, uh, oh yeah, there it is. SSHD. That's what that means. Alright. So now I gotta tear this open and we will install it in my PS4, which is right here. I'll just do it right from my uh, t table right here. And to save time, I have also already pre removed the cover. So this will just slide right off. There's nothing holding it in. There's no screws or bolts or anything. And that will expose the hard drive bay. And now we just take a Phillips head screwdriver. And we should be able to remove this screw. It's a little tight. You want to do this on a secure surface, which this isn't completely secure, but it's good enough. All right, that's one screw. Now we got, now we're able to slide out the tray. This is the original hard drive. Let's see, this is a, I don't know what brand this is. You can see the date here, June 16th of 2014, I guess? Yeah. It's a 500 gig. 5400 5, RPM, obviously. Alright, let's take this out. We got some other screws here to take out. Okay, the screws are out. I just want to point out here that you should leave these little rubber things on because they actually help to keep the hard drive stationary if it vibrates. So now we should be able to just slide this out easily like this and here is the old hard drive. This is a 500 gig so you can reuse this in your laptop or use it as an external drive if you want. I might do that or I might just try to sell it back I mean obviously it's not it doesn't have much value but yeah, this is the this is your stock PS4 hard drive and now we will install the new hard drive this is a Seagate one terabyte drive so we just sit this into the tray so just slide in here like this Make sure it's in there like this so that when you slide it in, the 
ports on the back slide in correctly. Now we just screw this in and make sure the screw holes line up there. Okay, one last screw here. Just screws in there like that. And that's it. All four are screwed in. So now all you gotta do is slide it back in your PlayStation 4. So we slide it in like so. Just goes in there, should slide in easily. Screw holes should line up. So now you just screw that back in. Make sure it's snug, but no need to over tighten it. And then that should be it. You've just replaced your PlayStation 4's hard drive with a better one, hopefully. So now you just slide the cover back on. And unfortunately, this is the glossy one, so now it's going to be completely ruined with my fingerprints. I mean, you could wear gloves when you're doing this if you're so inclined. which I didn't think of doing that until just now. This might be a little tricky to get back on, but it should just eventually slide back in. Like so. Pretty simple. Okay, so now everything's hooked back up. The power's hooked up. HDMI's hooked up. So now we want to start reinitializing your PlayStation 4. Because remember, this hard drive you just put in is completely empty. There's no there's no operating system or anything on it. So what you'll have to do first we will hold down the power button. Should be for seven seconds. And now it should boot into safe mode from what I read. You will also want your dual shock controller you will actually want to plug this in because it will not work wirelessly. As you can see here, connect the DualShock 4 using the USB cable. Here we go. Press the PS button. And now we will want to choose option 7, which is reinstall system software. Now, to do this, you will need some type of external storage. In this case, I'm using a USB flash drive. You'll go to PlayStation.com and download the PlayStation 4's operating system to this flash drive, or whatever external storage you're using. And you will then insert that into the USB port. Hopefully that's in there. Should be. And then you will initialize. So now, let's see if this works. And you will also have to create a folder on this drive that says, that's marked, I think, PlayStation, and then another folder into that that's marked UPDATE in all capital letters. And then it should find the update file. And it's still working here. Alright, PS4 will be initialized. All users and all data will be deleted. Of course, this hard drive is bare anyway, so there's nothing to delete. So when you're doing this, you will want to make sure to back up your saved data. If you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber, you will want to you will want to preferably update or actually upload all of your PlayStation save files up to the cloud to the upload storage 
And in my case, even if you have it set to do that automatically, check in and make sure it's up to date, because mine wasn't. In fact, there were some games that weren't even on the cloud storage. So, make sure yours is up to date. And that was pretty quick. So, let's see if it works. Alright, it's now installing the update file. Hopefully I don't need this anymore. I probably shouldn't have removed that, but it still seems to be working. And done. Now it's restarting again. And after that it should just boot like you're booting it for the first time. You may have to re-enter your your account information and and redo your settings again, but you will at least have double the storage capacity if you're getting the one terabyte like I am. All right, I hear music. That's a good sign. All right, already done that. Yep, this is just like when I first got it. I still do not have the PlayStation camera. I am in Central Time, and I guess that is the correct time. If not, I can change it later. Let's see, I like to turn these off just because I don't like it turning off unexpectedly. And let's see. Well, I'll turn that off. Accept everything, of course. And now it's ready to start. So now again you're back to just, you know, you haven't signed in or anything yet so you have to do everything all over again, but you will be on a brand new hard drive. You'll have more storage space and since this is a hybrid drive, maybe it'll be a little faster. I can't really say if it's any faster just yet, but um... I will maybe leave in the comments at a later time and see if it really is any faster. But anyhow though, that is how you install a new hard drive on your PlayStation 4. Hopefully this has been informative to you. I hope it's been helpful in some way. And I got all these notifications. Alright, well until then though, until my next video, I will see you guys next time. I thank you all for watching. And have a good one.